Good morning. How y'all doing today? This is Kay. Happy Friday morning. As y'all can see, Miss Kay getting ready for work. Get my gospel on this morning. Yeah, I don't have to go into later on today, but I'm just all early. You know how you used to getting up in the morning. That's what it is. So we're going to get into the daily bread. Good morning. Good morning. Let me go over here and turn this down a little bit. Hey, hey. You heard from us. Now let's hear from you. How y'all doing this morning? It's going to be another scorcher today. All this week it been in the 90s. And it's in the 90s, I feel like already. Yeah, say we're going to get a high up to 92 today. It's a little humid out here too. Yep, that it is. So let's get into this daily bread, y'all. Miss Kay, I'm going to boil her some eggs. I'm going to peel me some boiled eggs. I just ain't been in the mood to eat here lately, y'all. Mm. Okay. I believe it's coming out of Corinthians. I read it earlier. Yeah, Miss K kind of tired. I had a long day today. Yep. And of course, I've been up. No, I woke up about 5 30 this morning. I ain't wake up too early. That ain't early for me. Yeah, this is coming out of 1 Corinthians. Uh, chapter 15, verses 51 through 53. Okay, behold, I sow you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put in and put on incorruption, and this mortal must Put on immortality. Again, that's 1 Corinthians 15, 51 through 53. Okay, the reflection. Our current bodies are corruptible and mortal. They can fall to death and any pain inflicted on them. But in the time of Christ's return, all believers who have died will be raised up and those who are alive will be given their more immortal and incorruptible bodies. We may not know what we will look like, but we will know it will be glorious as God has promised us. No, that's right. Prayer. Dear God, I thank you that I can rejoice in all things because I know that. What I go through in this body is merely temporary. Every pain, every sickness, every infirmity are just signs of this fleshly body's weakness. But I am glad that a time is coming that this body will be gone away with and I and all your children will take on a glorious form. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. That's something we're going to look forward to that. <laughs> When betrayal strikes, that's a story by David Jacobs. Now let's go to the quiz. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment, in the twinkle of an eye, at the last trumpet. For the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. 1 Corinthians. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed the daily bread. Miss K is just ready to go to work and it's not time. I've cleaned up, I washed and did everything. I'm going to go peel my boiled eggs. Now, I hope y'all enjoyed the daily bread and just know that God loves you. It's getting everything together, y'all. It's almost time for me to head out. Come on. I'm ready to go now. <laughs> I really am ready to go. I'm ready to get out of here. And happy Friday, y'all. Today is, what, July the 10th? I believe it's the 10th. Let me look on this other phone. Is the date even on here? Yeah, I think it's July the 10th. Yep, July the 10th. Well, all right, guys, you have a blessed day. And I'll talk to you tomorrow with a daily bread. Bye now.